Hello everyone! Today, we're going to be building a professional portfolio right here in Canva. So, let's get right on to it. In order to start, we're first going to have to select some templates that we can use. And to do that, we're going to go to our search bar and we're going to type in portfolio. To take us to the templates page, we're going to click on see all. And here we are on the templates page. By the way, there are many types of templates here with different dimensions. If you want to create a portrait portfolio, you can do that by choosing a portrait portfolio template. But if you'd like to create a landscape portfolio or a presentation style portfolio, you can also go ahead and do that. As for me, I'm going to make a presentation portfolio today, so I'm just going to click on this one. Click on Customize this template so that we will be routed to the main editing page. Okay, and this is the uh, template, the design that we're going to work on today. As you can see, um, we only have one page over here, but this template has about 10 pages. If you would like to apply all 10 pages to your design, go ahead and click on this Apply All 10 Pages button. And here it is. And if that's not what you want, that's okay too. We can actually just add a page and then select a specific page that we want to use over here. So something like that. Okay, first we're going to focus on our main page. So let's start designing it. Um, when I design something, you know I always love to start with the background. So I'm going to delete some elements from the background here so that we can replace it. We're going to click on it and hit delete. And we're going to click on the page so that the toolbar above will appear. This is where we can choose our background color. So you can choose from solid colors or you can choose from gradients if you want to. And in case you'd like to change your gradients colors, then go back to the top, click this button right here, and select the uh, color, one of the uh, two colors from your gradient, and then change it to whatever color you like. I'm going to do the second one, which is the pink one, and change it to something else. Perhaps this one would be okay. And apart from that, you also have many options for your gradient. So you can choose from any of these over here. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of the unnecessary elements right over here. So I'm going to click on such elements and hit delete on my keyboard. And I'd like to replace this element as well. Let's go to the element section and type in frame. And let's click on see all to view more options. Maybe for example, we can use this one. So we can remove this one by hitting delete. And then we can place this one over here. We can also change the color of this frames um, line or yeah, frames frame <laughs> or outline, I mean. So we're going to go here this one I mean, and change it to whatever color we like. 
We can actually even use gradients on it. But I think a plain color would be okay. So I'm going to choose something that would fit our theme. Perhaps this one would do. Okay, now we're going to move on to our text. We're going to take care of the decorations later on. So um, this is going to be our text. Uh, you can input whatever you want to input right over here. But you can also change your font over here. So let's try to change it. I'd like to use some cursive font. So let's find that. Let's try to use this one, just an example. And then you can add your own name here. So your name. And then you can put your job title over here. So just say, for example, web designer. Okay, so we're going to do that. Do it like that. Okay. Since we're a web designer, why don't we choose a different frame like this one, for example? And just adjust our font, I mean our text. And here, we're going to insert a photo over here. I don't have any photos, just a couple of screenshots. So we're just going to go to the element section to look for photos. Let's say, for example, business woman. And then say, for example, this woman over here, we're going to drag our picture and insert it to our frame. And in order to adjust the placement of our photo within the frame, we're going to double click on it and yeah, adjust it however we like. And then once we're done, we're going to click on done. And there you go. So now it's time for us to add designs to our, well, page. Because right now it's looking a bit too plain. So let's look for some designs. And then click on graphics. And from here, we can choose from many designs that we want to use. Choose any design you like. Okay, and now we're done designing our very first page. We're going to go back to the design section here, and then we're going to click on Add Page. So we're going to choose um, whatever page we'd like to use from the template we had earlier. So this is a welcome, a welcome page. Yeah, perhaps we're going to need that. So I am just going to delete the background, copy our background, copy our elements as well, just some elements that are necessary. Send this element to back. Perhaps copy this one over here. Oh, send it backwards too. And delete unnecessary elements. So we are going to click on this, click on this icon, copy style, and paste it here. I think we're going to change the color of this element to white to match our element over here. And now we can't see anything, so 
I think it would be better to change the color of these texts first. And then we can change it to white. Okay, there we go. The reason why it's quite important to like modify a template is because that's a way to make your template unique. And that's also a way for you to add your personality to it. Because Canvas templates are available to many people, especially free ones. And yeah, it would be a lot nicer to have a design that's unique and different. So, okay, you can input whatever you want to input here and here also. So we're going to add another page. Uh, we're going to choose this one. So personal skills. We're going to delete these background pages once again. I mean, background images and then copy our background image from the previous page and paste it here control plus v on your keyboard once again let's copy the style of this text paste okay and if you like you can um change your element here but I think it looks cute, so we're going to keep it that way for now. Just going to add some um, designs. Just going to copy the designs from the previous page. Oops. And you can insert your photos here just the same way as we inserted some photos over here so let's give it a try for example these are your skills graphic designing so you can say for example this is your photo or this is your photo you can put that there just drag it into place and you can do the same thing for others here. Web designing, for example, photography. For example, and videography. And double click and then drag it into position. Done. Okay, I'd like to add additional elements to this, so maybe we could do it. Okay, so now we're gonna add another page. Let's go back to design. And here, your education information. So we're going to do the same thing. Okay, and let's see what else we could add. Add page. So project number one. Okay, by the way, just a tip, whenever you feature your projects or your past uh, work, it's very important to add a watermark to it so that people won't be able to easily take it from your portfolio and claim them or use them as their own. So make sure to do that. Uh, let me show you how to do that in a in a while so let's just finish designing this page first and yeah once again you can input anything you want to input here and change these elements if you want to and we're just gonna copy the uh, designs first okay so say for example this is your work 
So let's try to create a watermark. Press T on your keyboard. Let's try to zoom in as well. And then type in whatever it is that you'd like to um, use as watermark. Say, for example, your name. <laughs> We're going to change its color so that it becomes more visible. And then we're going to place that here. We're going to You can turn it to bold. Let's zoom in. And then you can add effects to it. So let's add lift so that it's easier to see. And then you can also adjust its transparency over here. And then you um, you can actually just use uh, a single watermark on a single image, but you can also duplicate your watermark and kind of like place it anywhere you want to place it, just to make sure that your work that you worked so hard on won't be stolen by anyone easily. Okay. And you, call, you can go on with project one, project two, project three, depending on the number of projects you want to feature on your portfolio. And to make it easier, you can just simply press this duplicate button and then you can just rearrange elements if you want to. So yeah, for example, put that one here. There. And once you're happy with your design, you can click on share, click on download, select your preferred file type and other preferred download settings, the number of pages you'd like to be included, and finally click on download. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope you found it informative somehow and we hope to see you in the next one. You have a great day!